Hello everyone, in this video I will show you our new product and you can see uh, this is King Kone E16 V3 because we have the old version, uh, this is E16 V2 and now we have released and designed this new version and you can see uh, this is V3 and this is V2 and in this video I will show you we have put some new innovation on this V3 board and how it works, and how it works with our software. Okay, I will show you the hardware design details firstly. Okay, let's look at, uh, this is King Kone E16 V3. And before we have used this, this one, I think you can easily to understand. And this is E16 V2. And it's, it's an external relay module, uh, just used by this Omro remove relay. So you can install your relay at here. So this is 16 channel version. And let's look at the size. Uh, the size almost is thin. Uh, this is the size. And this one, you can see, almost is thin. Just this time, we have designed this cover, aluminum cover for this module. And you can see. And let's look at the size. This one, this is the size. And this inch unit. Okay, and this is size. Okay. And also it's probably installed on the dingle, you can see. Probably install the dingle. Okay, let's look at the hardware design details. And you can see this is really output. Uh, this is really output. And inside of this cover, uh, we have used this Omer relay. It's max 16 ampere. Uh, this board use, can use for 24 volt and use for 12 volt power supply, just according to this relay work voltage. So the PCB is seen, just install different voltage of the relay. And you can see every relay that will have calm, normal open and normal close. Uh, this for first relay and this for second relay. This is calm, calm, normal open and normal close. So you can see that will have 16 channel for relay output. And this one you can see, and this have many country button. Later I will show you how it works. Because if the system is broken, you can also use this menu country button to turn on and turn off relay manually. It's physical. And this time you can see uh, this one, the power LD and this running LD. And this time we have added this IS485. The board will support the IS485 mode bus protocol. And this is power and IS485. And this is for IS485 address. So bit 1, bit 2, and bit 3 is for IS485. And the next, the SW, uh, this SW switch used for enable or disable the IS485 uh, function. Uh, if you have turned on, that is in disable the IS485. If you have turned off, that is enable IS485. Because uh, the board can Triangle by this digital input. You can see this is digital input. Uh, this is for 16 chain digital input. This is calm, calm, not ground. So this time we have designed if your calm have connected with the ground, so this digital input shot with power positive will triangle this relay. And if your calm is connected with the power, uh, such as 12 watt or 24 watt, so that the digital input shot with ground will triangle the, the relay. And this, this time we have added this terminal, you can see this terminal also is removable. So you can extend this menu country button uh, for a long distance, uh, 500 meters, no problem. And also this digital input also can extend for a long distance, 500 meters. And just this terminal is for menu country button, just for, for this switch extend. And this is for digital input extend. So it's a physical one, and it's, it work with the software, work with the firmware, and this work without software, without firmware, just physical. 
Okay, now I will show you how it works. Let's connect with this this terminal. We can we can just plug it in. Okay, and you can see uh, this I have connected with USB uh, to IS485 adapt. So I want control by PC uh, to turn on and turn off relay by mode bus protocol. And you can see I have connected this power supply. Uh, this is for 12 volt. And this you can see, uh, this is positive and negative. And this time, I have connected with this COM, this COM uh, together with this negative, with this negative. So I have used this red cable and for the power, if I short for this uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, so every channel just I short, the relay will on. So if you have connected this COM with this power 12 volts, so every channel input just a short with this ground. Uh, will be triangle turn on the relay. Okay, let's power on. And you can see uh, this is a power LED indicate. Now you can see I have not connected with the USB part to my computer. You can see uh, this is menu country button. This can turn on relay. Uh, this you can see uh, without software, just for emergency. Okay, and you can see this is also extend uh, just this switch. So you can see if I shut with the ground, this is ground, this you can see is ground, and shut, you can see, only when you're down. So this is for physical, physical. And now you can see this is for digital input. Maybe you will connect with uh, ESP32 MOSFET board, so you can use by this. This terminal is for the 12 volt or 24 volt or ground. Uh, this direction and the positive and negative you can change it because this this helps show that this is calm, not is ground. This is calm. So you can see I have connected the calm together with with the ground. So every digital input I can shoot with a 12 volt or 24 volt. So you can see if I turn on relay one, you can see I shot at at here. Two, three, four, five. So every channel will have a 12 watt to check this relay. Just if you exchange the portal of this com, so you can use a low level to check the relay. Okay, let's look at and this is reset button for ARM CPU. And this board not made by ESP32, it's made by ARM CPU. And this is IS485 address. You can see uh, off, off, off uh, this. 3 bit is off and let's look at my computer uh, this time I will connect with this USB adapter to my computer ok let's back to my computer you can see this is E16 V3 board and some details you can see our web page and how to use and how to connect with the extender switch and how to connect with the digital input or at here and uh, let's look at uh, this is two situation. Uh, this is for different compound uh, with a different polo. You can see uh, this is for the calm is for ground, and this calm is for 12 or 24 volt. And you can see this is our PC software, and you can download from here. You can see I can click this is our PC software. And this COM part I have connected with my USB IS485 adapt. And this one is band rate. You just uh, choose this one and click open. And make sure you can see one, two, three, all is off. This is IS485 address. You can see this address. Uh, look, look, look at uh, this. This one, two, three is off. One, two, three is off. So, so you will see the software also is off. Set to off, you can see. Turn on relay 1, relay 2, relay 3, relay 4. Uh, this you can choose this board because we also have designed this 
8 channel version and 24 channel version. This time I have showed a demo in E16 V3. Okay, you can see turn off, turn off, turn off, turn off, and turn all on and turn off. Okay, if I change this address, because maybe maybe you have connected some different uh, board just according to the different IS485 address. For example, you can see I power off. And this time you can see if I change this one to on, 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 off. Yeah, one, on, two, on, three, off, on, on, off. So you can see I power on again, power on again. And this time, before you open this COM port, one is on, two is on, uh, this three is off. So you can I can click open, and you can see turn on, turn on, turn on. So it can work. So it can work with a different address that you need to set uh, by yourself. Uh, so that you will support multi board in one IS485 bus. Okay. Uh, this is a PC software, a work by Modbus. Uh, if you want to write your code or integrate to your third-part device, you can use Modbus protocol. And you can see at here, that is IS485 Modbus protocol for E16 V3. You can see at here, that is a standard Modbus protocol. So you can just uh, connect to your PLC or other system, it's very easy. Okay, this is how to use the E16 V3 and what's the new one function and the new innovation in E16 V3. If you have any questions, you can leave a message to us. Thanks for watching.